Hi there, and you're very welcome to this mindful movement practice. And before we begin our movement practice today, just let me say a little bit about mindful movement and why we incorporate it in mindfulness. So there are many aspects of mindfulness to explore when we come first to the practice and indeed at any stage that we engage with it. We are primarily cultivating a sense of awareness. Um, we are working with that busy mind, the mind that pulls our attention away into thinking and distraction. And we're training ourselves to bring our attention into this present moment. So there are many ways that we can learn to cultivate awareness. And I'll be guiding you through a movement practice, which is a really valuable way of this process of cultivating awareness. But just let me say why we might, why would we bother culti cultivating awareness? Well, you may notice that your mind is often pulled away when you're in the middle of doing something. You may actually find yourself thinking about something else. You may find that you've left the house and forgotten whether or not you've locked the door. You may find that the business of your mind affects your focus and your concentration. And oftentimes we can have a sense that we're not quite living our lives right now, that we're often elsewhere distracted somehow or another. Young children have a natural ability to be very present, to be really absorbed in what they're doing. And as we get older, we can lose that ability as our minds become busier and as we can get caught up in more stress, in activity, in the constant doing, doing, doing. So in a sense, mindfulness supports us to mo move from a mode of doing to a mode of being. And this is not always easy, as you may well experience now as we do this mindful movement practice. Because I'm specifically offering this movement practice for National Arthritis Week, it may be that some of you are experiencing some pain and discomfort today. And you're wondering, can I even engage with a mindful movement practice? So what I'd like to say for you specifically is that absolutely, you can engage in this mindfulness practice of movement and adapt it in whatever way works best for you. In a moment, I'll be moving to the back of my room and I'll be standing up and guiding you through some practices, but it is absolutely fine to remain seated in your chair and to modify these movements in whatever way works best for your body. We will be doing them slowly and gently, taking great care of our body. And you know best what suits your body most in this moment. So really making that choice for yourself. And as well as taking care of the physical body in our movement practice, we are also learning to notice some of the thoughts that arise while we're actually doing these movements, some of the mo emotions that may come up for you. So it's, it's very closely connected with any other mindfulness practice, such as the body scan or a sitting meditation practice, in that we're not engaging in mindful movement just simply for the benefit of exercise. There's so much more to be learned and experienced than that. So let me guide you through a practice now that will take about 15 minutes or so. And I will just rearrange myself in the room. And those of you who are also willing to and have the possibility of standing up and doing this practice standing, you're welcome to take a moment or two to organize yourself now. And if you're remaining seated in your chair, just sitting here in as much of an upright 
posture as you can. It doesn't really matter if you can't see me too clearly once you can hear me. That is the most important thing. And I think you should be able to do that. But let's begin by coming to this position of standing, if that's what you've chosen. And if you're still remaining in your chair, we can bring the attention into the body bringing your attention right now. And if you feel steady enough to close the eyes for a moment, I'd invite you to try that. And taking this opportunity to really connect in now with that sense of your body standing here. The full weight of your body supported by your feet, connecting you to the floor or by your chair if you're in a seated position. So we're taking these 15 or 20 minutes to really slow things down. And in our mindfulness practice, slowing down is one of the first things that we learn to do. And it can be challenging. So if you notice your mind still feels busy, that's perfectly fine. We're learning to work with the busy mind. And let's begin for our first movement by taking a full stretch of the body, whether you're standing or seated. Turning the hands and palms outwards and taking your arms nice and slowly away from your sides, bringing them up to about shoulder height. And this may be enough for you. Indeed, this may even be too much for you. So any movement that you're able to make today, really inviting your attention to notice your body moving. If it's comfortable for you to continue to bring your arms up overhead, and I'd invite you to try that, stretching your arms upwards and feeling the whole body stretching now. And now turning your palms outwards and taking your time as you lower the arms right back down by your sides. So mindful movement practice allows us to pay attention to sensations in the body. So inviting your attention now right into any sensations in your right hand and arm. So without making any movement at all, shifting your attention to your right hand and your right arm. It's like you're taking a spotlight, a beam, but it's the spotlight of your own awareness and directing it to the area of your right hand. And now when you feel ready, slowly beginning to raise your hand and sensing what feels right for your body. You're welcome to have the eyes closed over or lowered, or even keeping them open on the screen if that suits you better. And if your arm extends to shoulder height or wherever it happens to be, just pausing for a moment. So really sensing now into all the sensations in this part of the arm. Because when we're paying attention, we have to give our mind 
something to pay attention to. So noticing now the sensations in your arm. And you might like to extend your fingertips forward if that's comfortable for you. And noticing this stretch now in the shoulder, the engagement of the upper back, easing off on that stretch for a moment or two. And in your own time, nice and slowly, lowering the arm and hand, right back down by your side. Or if you're seated, allowing the hand to come back down onto your lap. Shaking it out now, nice and gently. Let's take a moment now to sense into any difference between the right arm and left arm. What can you notice now? Some tingling, perhaps, sense of warmth, pins and needles. And let's shift the awareness now over to the left hand and arm. And notice if your mind is jumping ahead and moving the hand before I've even offered you that guidance. This is really what the mind likes to do. It likes to preempt what's coming next, to jump ahead. So let's hold ourselves here for this moment, just simply directing that spotlight of awareness to the left hand and arm. And now when you're ready, nice and slowly, Raising the hand, finding a comfort point for yourself here. If your arm makes it to shoulder height, that's fine. And if it doesn't, just pausing wherever feels comfortable for you. And holding there for a moment or two. So we're also exploring our own limitations in these movement practices. Meeting our own edges, finding our own comfort point. So noticing how it feels now for your arm to be suspended here, wherever it happens to be. And now lowering. Checking where your attention is, if your mind has been pulled away. Coming right back down now. Into the sense of your hand moving. And shaking it out when you get here. Taking the arms up onto the hips now. And if you're in this standing position, you're welcome to widen your feet a little, giving you a little bit more stability. And if you're seated in a chair, just placing the hands on the hips as we invite a little bit of movement into the upper body now with a very gentle spinal twist. So beginning with the right elbow, allowing this right elbow to guide a turning and twisting movement, keeping the lower part of your body fairly stable, even turning the head and neck to look out over your shoulder and breathing into this stretch now. Breathing freely and gently coming back round to center. And this time allowing the left elbow to guide this movement. And noticing the thoughts that arise in your mind as you 
move through these gentle movements. Noticing if there are any judgments of your own body, any frustration arising. Gently coming back round to center now. Releasing the hands and taking them down by your sides. Bringing the feet in a little, but still making sure that you feel steady and stable. And if you've been standing and you feel you need to take a break to sit down, please feel free to do that at any stage. So as well as working with the physical body and introducing some physical movement, in our mindful movement practice, we're also bringing our attention to the relationship we have with our own body, the attitude that we have. And if our body feels healthy and strong and well, then we often just get on with life and don't even pay the body much attention. But if you're living with an experience of pain, discomfort, inflammation, something that stops you from moving as you would like to move, that can really bring up a lot of feelings of frustration, anger, sadness, and even a sense of grief at the limitations of your body. So in our mindful movement practice, we're also bringing our attention to all of this, not just the sensations in the physical body, but also the kinds of emotions that arise for us. Well, let's begin some movements of the shoulders now, circular movements, and keeping them nice and gentle, checking what feels right for your body. And of course, the limitations of our body can change from day to day. Some days are able for more than other days. So really noticing what feels right for you now. You might like to experiment with making these circular movements wider and bigger, involving the arms in the movement. You might experiment with bringing the movement forward, changing the direction of these circles. And noticing how that feels for you. Slowing things down now. Just taking another circle or two and coming back to stillness. And what are you noticing about your body right now? Noticing too that you may like you may like how your body feels in this moment or you may intensely dislike how your body feels. So how is it just to really meet your body just as it is right now? In much of our day-to-day -day living, we can invest a lot of time and energy in particular in wishing that things were other than they actually are. So this practice of mindfulness can really support us to accept, this is how I am today. This is the body I have today. This is what I'm able to do right now. Not an easy process to come to this acceptance of the body, particularly if it's feeling more limited for you than you would like, more limited than it used to be. So we really also have to bring a quality of kindness to ourselves. 
where we're learning to work with our body in this way. Let's make one final gentle movement now with the head and neck. And for this movement, very simply turning your head nice and slowly over to the left side, as if you were going to look over your left shoulder. Taking particular care here not to force your head further than it feels right to move. Finding your comfort point and holding there breathing into it. And now bringing the head gently back around to center and continuing with the movement over to the right shoulder. You may notice a difference from one side to the next. Let's try that movement again, the head gently moving to the left. And now moving back to the right. And coming back to center. Well, as we come to the conclusion of this short mindfulness practice for today, taking a moment just to check in with your body again. Noticing any after effects of those movements. Noticing the activity in your mind, the thoughts present. Becoming aware of any feelings you may have right now. This is really just a taste of mindful movement practice. If you're engaged in a mindfulness course, you get an opportunity to, to engage in a longer mindful movement practice, working with cultivating awareness in the body as it's actually moving. And it's such a valuable practice to support us in this everyday living that we're all doing. And I hope that these few moments have given you a little bit of a respite from whatever you may be dealing with in your life at the moment. And we will have another practice available. There are other videos for you to check into a body scan practice and also a sitting meditation practice. And I've also taken time for some discussion with Brian Lynch about how mindfulness can support you with the management particularly of the mental health aspect of arthritis. So check all of these videos out on arthritis.ie and also on my website, susanbarrettmindfulness.com. I'd like to thank you for joining me today and I certainly hope we get a chance to meet, whether online or in person at some stage, and I would like to wish you well.